Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, this is Jagdish, Assistant Professor of EC Department, SNS College of Technology. Today, in our video lecture series, we are going to discuss about the review of semiconductor basics. Uh, this is coming, uh, this topic is coming under the uh, unit one, that is wide band gap devices and their application in real world. Come, let's see. What is band gap? So the band gap of semiconductor is the minimum energy required to excite an electron that is struck in its bound state into a free state where it can participate in conduction. So this is called a band gap. So you can see the atom has conduction band, valence band. So the uh, gap between the conduction band and the valence band is called a forbidden energy gap. So this is all about the band gap. So you can see in this image, uh, the band gap the forbidden energy gap under the conduction band valence band uh, is mentioned uh, clearly for uh, this is for an example and again here the highest energy level that an electron can occupy at, an, at the absolute zero temperature is known as the fermi level see here uh, is we have a material classification three types of metal classification one is a metal semiconductor and insulator that is a conductor semiconductor and insulator so you can see the metal which has uh, uh, the conduction band and the valence band it is uh, overlapping with each other but in case of insulator uh, the conduction band and the valence band is it has uh, a large gap that's called a band gap uh, and uh, semiconductor it's partially uh, partially conduct so the conduction band and the valence band gap is uh, somehow it is uh, lesser than the uh, insulator and uh, some it is larger than the metal so this fermi level it is the uh, uh, one line that indicates the uh, energy level of the uh, electron so what is a semiconductor a semiconductor is a substance whose resistivity lies between the conductor and the insulators. The property of resistivity is not uh, the only one that decides a material as semiconductor, but it has few properties as follows. Semiconductor have the resistivity which is less than insulator and more than the conductor because uh, the insulator uh, and this uh, metal having the uh, band gaps, right? So the band gap in the metal, it is uh, there is no band gap. Almost the valence band and the conduction band is overlapping, so the resistivity is very less. But in the case of insulator, that gap between the insulator and the uh, uh, I mean uh, valence band and the conduction band is larger, so the resistivity is also larger. Semiconductors have negative temperature coefficient. The resistance in the semiconductor increases with increase with the decrease in the temperature and vice versa. Conducting properties of a semiconductor changes when a suitable metallic impurity added to it, which is very, very important uh, property. So the adding impurity is nothing, uh, is the process called as doping. So this is the uh, semiconductor classification. It has been, uh, it has two classifications. One is intrinsic or pure semiconductor and another one is a extrinsic or impure semiconductor so uh, pure semiconductor uh, uh, if you are adding some impurity to the pure semiconductor that will become extren uh, extrinsic semiconductor that is a impure semiconductor again the impure semiconductor which has two classification one is p type and another one is a n type so here we have some uh, one example uh, it's a germanium uh, atom uh, to uh, this uh, i mean this explains how the intrinsic semiconductor looks like okay the outermost cell has the valence electron which are loosely attached to the nucleus uh, the valence electron of the both these atoms combine to form electron pair this bonding is not uh, so very strong and hence it is a covalent bond the germanium atom has 32 electrons and the two electrons in the first orbit and eight in the second orbit, 18 in the third orbit, while four in the last orbit. These four electrons are valence electrons of germanium atom. And due to the thermal energy supplied to the crystal, some electrons tend to move out of their place and break the covalent bond. These broken covalent bonds result in the free electron which wander randomly uh, but 
uh, when they when the moved away electrons creates an empty space or valves begin uh, this is called as hole so the deficiency of electron which is nothing but of a hole uh, this con this is this should be considered as a positively charged particle so that everything which is mentioned in this uh, diagram itself and what is intrinsic semiconductor so intrinsic semiconductor is a, a extremely pure form of uh, said to be intrinsic semiconductor this property of a pure semiconductor as follows the electrons and the holes are uh, solely created by thermal excitation the number of free electrons is equal to the number of holes the conduction capability is small at room temperature in order to increase the conduction capability of intrinsic semiconductor it is better to add impurities this process of adding impurities i told you already that is called as doping okay so once the doping is uh, the doped in, uh, intrinsic semiconductor is called as a extrinsic semiconductor so uh, here uh, the extrinsic semiconductor already we have uh, we know that there are two classification one is a pentavalent impurity another is a trivalent impurity so what is pentavalent impurity the pentavalent impurity or the one which has five valence electrons in the outermost orbit example bismuth antimony arsenic phosphorus the pentavalent atom is called as a donor atom because it donates one electron to the conduction band of a pure semiconductor atom and what is trivalent impurity so trivalent impurity or one which has three valence electrons in the outermost orbit example gallium indium aluminium boron the trivalent atom is called as a acceptor atom because it accepts one electron from the semiconductor atom so this is the uh, uh, some example for n, uh, n type extrinsic semiconductor which has so n, n type extrinsic semiconductor which has uh, uh, on additional uh, free electron right so this is this will be considered as a, a donor uh, impurity semiconductor and uh, this is pure p type semiconductor which has only three uh, valence uh, con uh, electrons at the outermost orbit so it creates one hole that is a positively charged particle so why silicon is preferred in the semiconductor the energy band gap is 0.7 electron volt where it is 0.2 electron volt for germanium the thermal pair generation is smaller um, the formation of sio2 uh, layer is easy for silicon silicon which helps in manufacture of many components along with integration technology sa is easily found in nature than gallium uh, germanium noise is less in components made up of silicon than the germanium so that's why uh, silicon is preferred thank you